Hi, everybody. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. Auntie is here. We always start off with a hug, so come on. It's not cute not knowing. And now it's time to know. Bravo, the Bravo Network. They're making some changes because I don't think they want to be perceived as racist. For the first time ever, a black woman is coming to the Real Housewives of New York. They've been making it more, you know, you know, like mixing it up, but they still have a ways to go because you still have, you know, we're, we're those representing the Asians. I'm sure they got Latina women on there, but Bravo is kind of stepping it up. Real Housewives of Atlanta. No Nene Leaks this season. The new season starts in November. So what do you do when you're in a position where you got to replace someone like a Nene Leakes, who really was the Real Housewives of Atlanta? They're bringing in younger women, and they're bringing in some controversy. Cynthia's getting married, bachelorette party. Okay, so they got this teaser where they're promising some girl-on-girl -girl action. How two of the women may have slept with the stripper that was hired for the party. It's these young girls that they're bringing on. They're going to have them doing that stuff because I just can't see the others. It's it's the younger. They've hired two younger girls. Um, one is a YouTube, uh, some girl from YouTube. They've hired two youngins to replace Nene. Will it be enough? Will it hold your attention? Will you want to see this kind of behavior from the newbies? Is this what they got to do to keep it going on? Bravo, I guess they don't want to be sued because I think that another shoe is going to drop with Nene. I just really do. I think another shoe is going to drop with Nene. But these are some of the things that they're doing to kind of like, uh, I guess, spice things up. Whoopi Goldberg says there will be a sister act three and she will be back as Dolores Wilson. Now, they, they ain't been a sister act movie since the 90s, so this is going to be good. And, you know, trying to get cast back together. I wonder, could you ever get a Lauren Hill or will you just have to start over? But Whoopi Goldberg said she's working on it to make it happen. Jordan Sparks. American Idol winner years back. She starred in the Sparkle remake. She's 30. She's a new mom. She is coming out with a holiday album. I've always wanted her to do well because you know what you notice with these shows? The Voice and Idol. No stars. People win and you don't even know who they are. They just like disappear in the air. It's not like when Idol first came on with Carrie Underwood. You knew who Clay Aiken was. You knew who Fantasia, Kelly Clarkson, Carrie Underwood. You just knew. Now, you don't know. You don't know. Now, pop sensation Katy Perry, she just had her baby. She already back to work on set of American Idol for their new season. And starting on the 18th, it's going to be a brand new season of The Voice. I just wish they would not only pick a winner, but if the winner would actually go on to stardom. But Jordan Sparks coming out with a holiday album. Rapper Scarface came down with COVID and it really just tore his system up. And now he is in search of a kidney and he's been talking about it on social media. Thomas Jefferson Bird. Don't ask me where I got more from. Y'all know y'all know what be going on up here. But Thomas Jefferson Bird, the actor seen in many Spike Lee movies. Of course, we know him from the movie Set It Off. That award is growing. Who murdered the actor over the weekend? 70 years old. He was shot multiple times in his back. The award is going up to find out who did this to him. If BET don't do nothing right, they do award shows right. They really do. And, you know, it's kind of different now. 
you know, with the pandemic, everything is done virtually. But there are two shows coming up during the month of October that I want to tell you about. One is on Sunday, October the 11th. It's the Phoenix Awards, which Taraji P. Henson is doing. BET joining forces with the Congressional Black Caucus, where they're going to be honoring people who are making a difference and making things happen. The entertainment is going to be awesome. Kim, Anthony Hamilton, you got Common, and you got India Irie. That's Sunday, October the 11th. BET is also returning with this year's annual hip hop award. And a big honoree is going to be the one and only Master P. He did a great No Limit miniseries on BET, which really showed P's start, how they started with the company, the offshoots, and Master P, he's a businessman. Now he's doing the pancake syrup, pancake mix, rice, noodles. What did I, 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 I talked about what he was coming, what he was coming out with. He's got the seasonings, he's got the noodles. Master P is a businessman at the end of the day. He's like, there is more to me than this. And Master P is doing it. But he's going to be the big honoree. The BET Hip Hop Awards will be airing virtually BET on October 27th. Jeannie Ma of The Real. She's on Dancing with the Stars. She's engaged to, to Jeezy. <laughs> she's been doing a lot of interviews. And she said she's going to be submissive. A submissive wife. When she marries Jeezy, I guess she says when she becomes Mrs. Jenkins, because that's Jeezy's real name, Jay Jenkins, that she's going to be submissive. What do you think about that? Do you think a woman has to be? Because if a woman is seen as strong, she's condescending, she's abrasive, she's too much. If she makes the, the mom, I call this the mama face. You get criticized for that. Do you think, do you think you could, ladies, do you think you could be submissive? But she's been talking about it a lot. Uh, she's engaged to be married to Jeezy. Jeezy's got some great things, y'all. He has a talk show, a conversation with Jay Jeezy Jenkins. It's going to air on Apple TV. It's going to air on Fox Soul. He's really serious about this because he says, I'm more than just, you know, somebody in the rap game. He wants to talk to politicians and sports stars and, you know, basically people that are making it happen. But Jeezy is doing that. And Jeannie, Jeezy, Jeannie, JJ, she says she's going to be submissive. Tell me, what do you think? It's not cute not knowing. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. I know we're early today. Leave a comment. You know that I saw it if I give you a heart. I do a weekend edition, everybody, that goes up early. I have a young girl. She's fast. She be putting it all together. It's just a fancier version of what we do here. But it, it it's really good. And she does such a great job in putting it together. But check out the weekend edition because that goes up real early on Friday. And for those who are saying, well, where is it? It's right on this page. It's just fancy. It, it's just, it's always on the page. It's not like you got to go somewhere else to find it. If you subscribe to this channel and you come to this channel, Patty Jackson, it's right there. It goes up on Friday. Uh, here's another question for you guys. I do a podcast, Patty and the Millennials. This week, I asked the question, why are people so selfish with the times that we're going through right now? Do you think that's, that's a cause? Why do you think people are selfish and just doing just whatever they want to do with just disregard of anybody else? You can find us on Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, iHeartRadio app. You can download it. Um... On my social media sites at WDAS Patty. Follow me on the gram. Look at me, I'm sounding like the kids. Follow me on the gram uh, for memes, entertainment stories, things that are just going on. Um, just like to keep people informed about what's happening. 
So you can follow me on the gram at WDAS Patty. I had a little bit of extra time because today was a little was a little slower. But usually when you have a day that's like the next day, it's like tons of stuff happening. Thanks so much for joining me. It's not cute not knowing. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture.